Alright guys, we are back here with another video with the Galaxy Note 4 here and as I promised, um, I'll be doing a match marks comparison between Lollipop versus Marshmallow So I just updated my device to Marshmallow and now let's go ahead and do the test So we'll be starting with Geekbench first Mainly testing out the CPU performance and here is my specs The Exynos 5433 3 GB of RAM and a Mali T760 GPU So let's get started And we are done guys, so here's the scores and it's a 988 on the single core score, we have a multi-core score of 3914, very close to 4000 and this one very close to 1000. So the answer is how do we, how does this compare to Lollipop? So let's go to the gallery, I've taken some screenshots before I updated so you can have an idea and here are the scores. So this one uh, I did again to make sure it's uh, it's uh, stable so here is the no, this is the higher one yeah this one is higher for multi core score so here we have a single core score of 886 and a multi core score of 3648 so the difference is uh, not that major but there is a difference you can see so you have roughly about 100 points here roughly about 100 points no um, let's just go back no the multi core score is around 300 points only the single core score is around yeah, 100 points so yeah those are the scores so now let us uh, move on to another application here we're gonna test the graphics so mainly we're gonna use n22 benchmark so let us get started all right and here we go three two one go Alright guys, we are done and here are the scores. So we got a score of 46,440 for the Galaxy Note 4. Let's see in detail. So here's the 3D score which is 8,167. Let's zoom in. And UX 17,292, CPU 16,443 and lastly RAM which is 4,438. It's kind of low actually. Alright, let's zoom out. Now let's, now let's compare with the results that I got from uh, the on the lollipop version last time so i took a few screens uh, here's a screenshot and it's 45,285 so here yeah this is the same thing all right now let's compare them so yeah we can see like this so uh, there's around 1200 points difference and let's see the 3d scores 7280 and here we have Hmm, there's a bit of improvement in the 3D department, um, not very major. UX 17,000, 17,000 roughly the same. Um, CPU 16,000, 200 something, 6,400 something. A minor improvement on the CPU and the RAM. How much is the RAM? 4,500. And here is 4,400. There's a bit of reduction there. But overall, um, the only thing that increased significantly was the 3D department. So in graphical, uh, performance is slightly better but not a whole lot not like the one on the Galaxy S5 which has a lot of difference but on the Note 4 I noticed on the graphical test it was really really lagging like crazy because uh, this uh, Note 4 is using a 2K display which, and the Mali GPU is pushing away a lot of pixels and it's struggling so that's why the scores aren't that great but anyway the score increased so that's the answer the score increased by 1000 points in the gig in the Antutu benchmark so yeah there you go these are the results so overall should you upgrade i mean if you still have an upgrade should you upgrade to this version of marshmallow if you're looking for gaming they won't there won't be any uh, significant difference as i said but in day-to-day -day usage it should be fine i mean it's okay it's smooth anyway guys that's all for this video so hopefully you enjoyed this uh, Galaxy Note 4 comparison, benchmark comparison here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.